Hi, my name is Byron Bear, and this is another Tool Time Update brought to you by your friends at PKF Texas and the Entrepreneur's Playbook. We've been talking about Berkman and how we use it in our organization for coaching and for training and putting teams together and that sort of thing. And we've been going through the 11 components and we're going to talk today about freedom, one of those 11 components. And so in a measurement of freedom, and remember we have our usual style, our, the way we approach work every day, our needs, the way we need to be treated, and then our stress behavior, which we want to stay out of. And we stay out of our stress behavior by making sure our needs are being met. So on the freedom score, a low freedom score would indicate that this person is more conventional, more traditional of values. You're gonna, they're not gonna dress, they're gonna dress very conventionally and that sort of thing. You're gonna notice that that, uh, that person doesn't have a loud wardrobe and that sort of thing. Um, whereas a high freedom score may be someone who's a little less conventional, uh, a little bit more of a free spirit, if you will. And so a not unusual component may be that our usual style is low, which, but our need is very high. What would that mean? Well, that's going to be a person that on the outside coming to work every day is going to seem very conventional, very traditional to you. But their need is to let you know what kind of individual they are, uh, where they, they, they may be something like a judge that's in a rock and roll band on the weekends, things like that. So interesting to know, kind of a fun component because it gives you some insight into people's personality. Uh, again, my name is Byron A. Bear. This has been another Tool Time Update brought to you by your friends at PKF Texas and the Entrepreneur's Playbook.